hey guys welcome back to my channel so we're finally going to embroider our little sailor moon bow onto the sweater so yeah a couple of weeks ago i was testing out the file that i designed it will be up on my shop if you want to make your own sweater but um yeah basically the only thing was that i needed to find a darker thread for the shaded part of the bow which i did so it's all thread it in the machine so yeah let's get started let me hoop the sweater but also once we're done with the sweater we're going to continue my little tote bag and add the other design and the other side of the bag so yeah but first let's get started with the sweater okay so i have the sweater hooped in and now let's go on to the file. So let's select the colors we're going to do. Okay, so yeah, here's our bow all filled in with the colors. The last thing I need to do is I need to um, flip it upside down because the way that I put in the sweater, the neck is here and it's facing this way. So. Let me quickly do that. Let's go to layout and import that. And also, if you hear the fireworks, I am so sorry. They're already throwing fireworks in my neighborhood. <laughs> um, hold on, let's give it a second. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's flip. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, there it is. Let's go this. Okay, so let me trace the machine right now. So that's the center. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let me remove that and let me get the fabric so we can start this. Okay, so for material, I'm using this sparkly felt fabric that I got from Joann's. And then for the little center piece in the middle, I'm using this metallic gold faux leather that I got from Amazon. I'll link this one down below if you're interested. I really like the quality of this, to be honest with you. So yeah, I think it stitches out really really nice and so yeah okay so with every applique file that i've done on my channel it always stitches out a line first on where to place the fabric i'm going to be using the same fabric for all the the four pieces but the reason why i separated them was in case you want to do the bottom part of the bow the little ties a different shade of red you can it's again it's up to you i know like in the pictures like in the anime and all of the pictures that i've seen online the bottom part of the bow is a little bit darker because of the shading so again it's up to you how you want to design this bow so yeah let's get started and it's gonna stitch out where we're gonna put the fabric first okay i'm gonna pause the machine and let me get my piece of fabric and let me cut that out. Hold on. So I have my fabric on top and we're gonna press start the machine so it can stitch another top stitch on there and hold the fabric. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the machine again and cut the extra fabric.
Okay, so now it's gonna stitch the other side of the bow so we could add the fabric. Okay, so this is how your bow should be looking so far. Now it's going to go and stitch all the little details of the bow and the shading of it. So let's go put it back in and after that we can work on the pendant. Okay, so as you can see, it stitched all the little details of the bow, and now we're going to work on the pendant section. And so I already stitched the line where I need to place the fabric, so let me get that. This is going to be the last piece of fabric we're going to stitch onto the sweater. Okay, now that it's cut, we're done adding the last piece of fabric onto the bow and the machine is going to continue creating the little details of the pendant and yeah we're going to let the machine run for the rest of this project And ta-da! This is how our little bow came out. Super excited to see this on the mannequin. Really quickly. Uh, I also made little matching clips too in my previous vlog. I showed you guys how to make these ones. I will have the file up on the shop as well. I thought it would be cute with the sweater. She could have her daughter, you know, wear two little buns and clip these on so yeah okay so on to our next project is my bts tote bag that i'm currently working on and the other side we're going to do another embroidery design and so let me quickly hoop this. I have the tote bag already hooped and in the machine. I already traced everything. So let's go back home. And this is the design we're going to add on to our tote bag. So adorable. But yeah, let's input the colors. Okay, so all the colors are inputted, and now we're going to let the machine run because it's going to be all 100% thread, so yeah. That's it. Okay, so this is how it turned out. It's so adorable. Anyways, the last thing I'm going to do before I end this video is remove the little jump stitches with my little mini scissors that I have.
so yeah everything is done and that's pretty much for today's video like i said this is going to be a work in progress project because i want to fill this up with all bts related and so it's going to take some time so follow along as i continue decorating this tote bag but um yeah i think it's really cute and excited to start using but um yeah that's pretty much it i guess uh i will see you guys in the next one okay bye guys